I mean, that this is the level of love in <laughs> um, many moments. It's surprising for me. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> so. when, um, which moment was the most surprising laughter from the audience that you mm. didn't expect at all? Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> um, for me, it was, it was nice because I got late to the screening. I had the luck to sit next to Mirna, but I didn't know her. And, but many times in, when we were editing the film, we, there were some moments that we said, this is fine for us, but we never, you never know. It's our first film. You never know how people will react. I was sitting next to Mirna, and he was laughing at every moment. <laughs> so I said, well, I know maybe she's uh, drunk. <laughs> but I think, uh, uh, no, it, it was nice to see that little shows or, or some moments there were working. Oh. <laughs> So I know there are a few printers in the audience, and I'm a printer myself, so there are a lot of details that I really greatly appreciate. And one thing I was thinking about that I, 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 I presume it was intentional, but it feels like the machines, the printing presses, are as much a character, characters in the films as any of the people are. And I'm curious, did you go in thinking about that when you went, you know, when you went to these different places to film? Were you thinking about each of the presses as its own character, or did that develop as you edited? Or did you not think about it at all? <laughs> nice question. <laughs> Let me think. Yeah. We weren't thinking of that. Yes. <laughs> but there, there's something that machines are incredible and. We, end, we, we get into the, this subject uh, like because, of, because we like the machines. Mm. So it was not intentional to, to set them as a characters, but uh, there, there are many that are so present in the film that maybe it ended like <coughs> having too much. Yes, the, the sound of the different machines mm. and corresponding to different people. Uh, I think it was, that, that was uh, prepared, or the thing. Um, but, I don't know. If <laughs> well, it's beautiful how they're... Sorry, I need to say something. We are from Argentina. Yes. <laughs> and from Argentina, people go uh, many times on holidays to, to Miami or maybe Los Angeles where everybody speaks Spanish. <laughs> so, <laughs> for us, it's something new to, to speak English. Oh. And uh, it's You're not so right. comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Here in Seattle, nobody speaks Spanish, so... <laughs> <laughs> except <laughs> me and Adal. Uh, es verdad que hablo español, cool. sí. Pero aprendí en Ecuador y hace mucho tiempo. Pero si quieres... Hay mucha gente que habla en español, sí. Bien, por favor. So another question I have, maybe this one's easier. Mm -hmm. I so you're both graphic designers. Yeah. I take it. When was your first encounter with letterpress? Well, mine was when I was uh, a boy. Um, my sister husband is, uh, has a, um, a printing shop. And um, when I was a boy, I dreamed becoming a printer. <laughs> but when... Uh, then I realized I, I wanted to make movies and <laughs> here am I. <laughs> well, for me it was, um, I studied graphic design, I become a professor at the university, I never seen the, the Depot Mobiles, the, the letterpress, 
never in whole career or working, never. Hmm. And one time one student came at the end of the year and brought the other professor's initials in, in type. And I said, what, what's this? That's like something crazy. <laughs> that, crazy that been working in graphics and never seen the, the history, never. So I, I uh, next week, I bought online, I was looking there and I bought a whole uh, cabinet. Yeah, a whole cabinet full of time. <laughs> and I started like collecting and well I, I became some some way obsessed. Uh, I start start like everybody who, who loves this, like getting things, buying and collecting and that's how the, the idea of the then I I called him because I knew he was from a printer family and we started like the, the, the idea of filming all these places and that's how the movie was born. <laughs> it's a perfect lead up to my next question, <laughs> which is, um, so this is obviously was a huge undertaking. I'm curious, one, how long from the moment you decided to make the film to today? And I don't know. <laughs> or you don't have to say. I imagine sometime, but then I'm, you know, with a, with a project of this undertaking, I'm, I, I'd love to hear the story of the moment you realized you were fully committed to a feature length film about letterpress in Argentina. Cuando, eh, cuando, cuando, cuando fue el momento sí. en que, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, ¿Qué se realizó que, que van a hacer el proyecto? Oh, bueno, cuando empezamos, bueno, para mí. Starting was the easy part. Like we went, to the, we bought a camera, and we said, "Now we are making a movie." <laughs> <laughs> the problem come, came later when we realized that we didn't know how to end the film. <laughs> so we, starting was the, the easy part, and then from starting we we spent five years uh, until we finish because many, many things in the middle, many yeah. issues, and, but uh, I think uh, we, we made it. Yeah, <laughs> last year when we, when we won the grant from the uh, INCA, the National Institute for Cinema in Argentina, then uh, we realized that we have to finish. <laughs> yeah. um, and it was amazing to to meet uh, Antonio and Sol from Insula Editora. That was a missing part for us. That we were looking for it for many many time uh, because it's it's the it's the link with the other stories from the older ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we started filming many people, like doing a, a compilation yes, of printing uh, places, but um, we didn't have any story, like it was a mix of, of spots from different printing presses, and we needed a character that, that has something else to show, to add to the film, and that's Antonio, that is the main young character. And I, we had it there in front of us, and we never realized, because Sol, that is his girlfriend, went to school with me, and she was saying, like, I'm very interested in, in printing with, with books, but we love letterpress, and one day, at his, her birthday, he, she said, um, we are thinking about buying a whole place and start printing at, here at home. And I think that was the moment where we, can, we could solve the, this thing of the 
the story. Mm-hmm. Yes. Tying the narrative together mm-hmm. from, yeah. Hmm. So, another question I had is, um, and we'll open up to the audience too. You're welcome to after this next question. <laughs> um, based on, and I don't know if this is true, it, it seems that many of the printers in the film uh, didn't necessarily know each other. Uh-huh. And, and so I'm curious, um, were there new connections made between printers because of the film? Yes. Well, when we have a, a private screening with all of them, mm-hmm. and it was a really interesting experience. <laughs> I did everything. Yes, that. yes. So the other ones were really surprised with the young boys and girls, and they they couldn't believe it that <laughs> <laughs> these people were uh, dreaming with um, dreaming with uh, with this with this craft with this uh, letterpress thing. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did they talk to each other? Yes. I, Every time, and um, they, they were screaming from that seat to this <laughs> <laughs> Yes, then I think they are best, very best friends now. 